welcome back to Street Mansion. I kind of left you hanging on my bathroom remodel. I did not mean to. I've just been looking for the finishing touches for it. I wanted to get some art hung. I wanted to figure out what I was thinking in terms of a rug. But I've decided that I don't want to rush those things. I think that the best way that a house can come together is just by taking your time and the pieces will find you. So that is where we're at. I don't feel like it's 100% decorated. But I want to tell you all about the whole renovation process and how that went and what that looked like. So I've got my laptop here so that I can watch some clips that I organized and basically give some commentary on what went down. Obviously first we have to start with the before footage of this bathroom. This bathroom was really gross, but the thing is is that nobody really used it except guests, and that sounds really bad because it sounds like I'm being like, oh, who cares, it's just guests, but like, truly, people don't come over that, that often. It was easy enough to just be like, oh yeah, go upstairs, get the bathroom upstairs, don't use this one, it's gross. It works, it's just ugly, and if I can tell you a super, super secret, which is super gross, I had never cleaned it. I think we probably cleaned it like when we first moved in, but it never got like that deep clean. It was a gross place, okay? Now that you've seen what the room used to look like, before we dive into any work footage or what it looks like now, let me tell you what our plans were. Jeff and I both agreed that this room should be ridiculous. We wanted it loud and tacky and gaudy. And I'm saying tacky in a good way. Tacky, tacky over the top. I wanted guests to use that bathroom and come out and just be like, wow, the, 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 this, the, that, the, woo, what that, you know, just like, what, what do you even mention because it's so fun and funky. I just wanted it to be something silly and fun to look at while you do your business. I definitely had always planned to have wallpaper in there. I love wallpaper. I know that there's not like a ton of it in my house yet because all of the money that we have for the house goes towards like real renovations, like insulating things and fixing things. So the fun wallpaper stuff for all of the big rooms will come later, but I wanted to do wallpaper in this room. I also had always planned to do some sort of fun tile on the floor. The other thing that I definitely wanted to do going into this room was to try picture rail out. What actually drew me to picture rail in the first place was these bird hooks here. I just loved them. I thought they were such a fun detail and I was like, okay, well I want some of those so I guess I'm gonna need picture rail. But it turns out picture rail is 100% right up my alley. I'll probably end up talking more about this later in the video, but I just, I knew that I needed the picture rail because I wanted these bird hooks. I needed an excuse to buy the bird hooks. So bird hooks, cool tile, wallpaper, let's go. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in here right now. I'm not good at remembering paint color names, so I'm actually just gonna leave all those in the description below, as well as any link sources and that sort of thing. So go ahead and check that out. I had always figured that it would just be the last room that I touched, just because, like I said, nobody really used it except guests, and it just seemed like, ah, why, why bother? It's not, it's not that exciting. But I got it in my head one day that I wanted to start this bathroom. I just needed to start a project. Sometimes when the house feels overwhelming and I feel overwhelmed with like all that I have to do, I will start another project, which sounds stupid. It sounds like the opposite of what I should be doing. But sometimes it's nice to just start a project that I feel like I can tackle mostly on my own or do a lot of the things by myself. And that was what this bathroom was. I just felt overwhelmed with the kitchen and with everything that it just seemed like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna start tearing up a room. So that's what I did. I started demo on the bathroom. It didn't even start in the morning. I just like midday one day, I was like, I think I'm gonna do the bathroom. And I did. The drywall in this room wasn't too bad. It definitely, there was holes in it and there was some damage where somebody had pulled off wallpaper, but all in all, it wasn't in that bad of shape. This room did not have insulation. So that was the main reason that I had to completely gut this room. This old heavy drywall was both glued and nailed to the walls. So it wasn't as easy to take off as one would hope, but it was no big deal. It was a nice like, rage project, I guess, where you just kind of like get to hack away at something and it's fun. It's a mess, but it's fun.
As you can see, someone was using styrofoam here as insulation. I, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. I did a little bit of research into that and found that it's not like the worst idea, but it's also not the best idea. So we replaced that with real insulation done correctly behind the boards instead of in front. So we did gain an inch or so in this room. So this was really fun. When I took down the drywall beside the sink, there was a wire that I wasn't sure where it went. And when I revealed the rest of it, I found that it was a live wire that had been cut at some point and never removed or capped or anything. It was just a hot wire. I don't know who did this or why or how, uh, how the house is still standing just seems so dangerous. So I'm glad I had to gut that room and find that because that's not, nah, it's just so dangerous. It's so scary. It's so scary to think about the other really, really scary things that are probably in the wall. We're not going to think about that. The house is safe. We're good. So for some reason I had it in my head that I would not have to take down the ceiling that we could just cover it with another piece of drywall. But to run the electric, I had to do that. So that was a pain in my butt. Almost immediately, I ripped the light from the ceiling. It was not attached very well and it just fell. So I was left working in the dark, which was not cool. Finally, after I got all of that cleaned up, it was time to do drywall. It poured the rain down on drywall day, but we got it done. I never get much footage when I'm working with my dad just because he's not very patient in letting me like set up the camera and get my shots and blah, 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 blah. He just doesn't quite understand it. So that's why there's no footage of us hanging drywall, but here I am mudding. coat of primer. The room is already looking so much cleaner and nicer. Another thing I don't have any footage of is my dad and I hanging up the beadboard in the bathroom. I decided to do that as the lower panel of the room because I really love the look of like wainscoting and that sort of thing, that look. We have some in our dining room and I really love it. So I basically wanted to copy that and maybe like take it up a notch in the bathroom. With all of the drywall hung, taped, mudded, primed, and the uh, beadboard on the lower half of the room, it was time to start working on the ceiling. I like working from the top down, obviously, because that way I can make messes and then just cover them when it comes time. So I started working on the ceiling. Something that I wanted to try in this room was bringing the ceiling color down a few inches. And then at the bottom of that, I was going to do picture rail. That is what I'm doing right here is I am measuring from the beadboard up to a certain point and marking that so that I know how far down to bring my paint color. For lighting in this room, Jeff and I had always talked about a chandelier just because a bathroom chandelier is funny. I don't know, you don't expect a bathroom to have a chandelier. So of course I wanted a chandelier in the bathroom. I did a little bit of looking around and wasn't really finding anything that I loved. Luckily enough, there was a chandelier in the basement and let me tell you, this thing was gross. So this chandelier was rough. So I decided to completely disassemble it and rewire it. I think this clip here is really funny where you can see me pouring out all of the bugs that were in the light. 
I'd never rewired a light before, let alone a chandelier with a bunch of arms, but it was actually fairly easy. I'm, I'm quite impressed and I was very proud. I did so much research and like spent so much time scouring the internet for information on how to rewire vintage chandeliers that like I kind of freaked myself out because I was just like, oh, like none of these are exactly like mine, so I don't really know how to do it. Eventually, I just sucked it up, bought some materials, and they were the right ones, and I was able to do this. Right here I am using Brasso to shine it back up. It had a lot of paint splatters on it and the Brasso takes it right off. Here's the finished project before I hung it. I was so proud of it. I just wanted to take a picture. I think it turned out so nice and I'm so happy to bring something that was in the house back into the house in use. And here it is with the ceiling painted and this medallion. By the way, I don't have footage of this and I don't think I mention it anywhere else. The ceiling medallion is actually a fun find from Goodwill. I bought it way, way back and I had no idea where it was gonna go. I just knew that it was a ceiling medallion and for five bucks I wasn't gonna leave it at Goodwill because I love medallions. Obviously I had to buy that. But when I got it home, I realized that it had little roses on it and that that kind of matched the bathroom mirror that was in the bathroom. I've always planned to keep that bathroom mirror just because, I don't know, it's a fine mirror, it's pretty, it was in the house, might as well keep it. And it's actually covered in flowers as well, so I just felt like that was like a perfect match. The ceiling, so, so, so sexy. I can't believe that my bathroom ceiling looks like that. Here I am painting the picture rail black, getting ready to hang it. I hung this rail by myself. It was fairly easy. I think just because it's such a small room, I was able to just nail it up with the brad nailer and just to like get it up and hung. And then I went in and did trim screws in the studs so that it was very sturdy. Here are my bird hooks. Ooh, they look so good. I'm so excited about those still. I think they're just so snazzy. This is approximately where I started making videos again. This is me working on the bathroom. I'm painting all of that trim. and hanging wallpaper, so exciting. Hanging my lights. Now we're working on the floor. The white tile in the center of those black tiles is the direct center of the room. So I laid a handful of tiles and then I let those dry so that I could work out.
Here I am grouting. I love grouting so much. I talk about this in the other video though. The infamous squid hair that is stuck in the grout. My baby girl, always helping. Then my dad and I put up the final trim in the room. And that is where I left you. That is where my work clips end because from there on out, it has just been decorating and adding the final touches, like getting the toilet back in the room, which my dad helps me with, so no footage of. That's where we're at right now. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm so excited. Instead of it being the spare bathroom, it's the bathroom that I use the most because I just love being in it. That sounds really weird and I feel weird talking about using bathroom, but you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's such a good bathroom and I'm very proud of it. I really love the picture rail. This was my first time seeing picture rail in person. I don't know anybody else in like in real life who has it. I'd never seen it in use, but I love it so much. It looks so cool and I love that I am able to hang and move things without damaging the wall or the wallpaper because those, those pieces of art that are in there right now, I don't know if those stay there. I just wanted to get something up on the wall. That was like what was holding me up from making this video is that I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to put on the walls, but I can put anything on the walls and move it at any time. So yeah, huge fan of picture rail. I'm looking forward to adding it in probably like every room of this house, just because I think it's so cool to be able to move things around without damaging the wall. Obviously I can't not comment on my swan faucet, which I am so excited about. I just think it's so silly. I love it so much. It's, it's fun. It's a fun detail. So that's that. That is the half bath that I just renovated. I want to say it's my favorite project of 2023, but honestly the kitchen just got countertop, so obviously that's the winner. But the bathroom is a close second and I love that the bathroom is right off of the kitchen, so it's like that whole area, because the stairs got made over too just got like a total facelift this year and it just it makes the whole house feel so much nicer because all of that is right when you come in the front door instead of walking into this messy area you're walking into something that's nice and clean and I it just feels good man I'm telling you it feels so good it feels good to finally like have like a whole chunk of house done like that thank you guys so much for joining me I will see you next time